This is an empty folder. My plan is to make five multiplayer party games and one web app to hold them all. And I'll do it in 42 days or my credibility is going to look sus. To make the most of the limited time, it would be wisest to use services and libraries that are both mature and ones I've used in the past. It would also be smart if I didn't reinvent the wheel where it wasn't needed. But will I adhere to this sage advice? Um, yeah, we'll see. Of course, you can't start a new web project in 2022 without using TypeScript. Yep. And what's really hot right now is NX, which is a mono repo framework and gives us a standard way to have multiple projects and shared libraries in a single project. For the web app shell, the obvious choice is to use React for the app shell. Yes, but more specifically, we'll use Next.js. The app will have a login, so we'll use Firebase for that. Oh, and why is that? For ease and the cost is low. Oh yes, good point. We have to do all of this while spending less than or up to $100. There will be no buying one's way to success on this one. Now there are five games. Yep. And the first one we're gonna do is actually just tic-tac-toe. Really? That sounds boring. But we're gonna do something slightly different. Go on. I'm gonna do a super tic-tac-toe. Okay, what's that? So you can pick the size of the board, the actual win condition. So if you want a five in a row, I guess that's like connect four if it's four in a row, instead of just three. And so we're calling that super tic-tac-toe multiplayer, possibly more than two players. Okay, I guess we should get started with this. Let's see what we've accomplished on day one. There's a form. Great. They're not uh, working. Okay. So there's a sign-up form, login form, they can switch back between each other. There's also a dashboard view. So there's no games yet. I guess we're building a foundation. Anything else interesting? We also used Tailwind CSS. I've heard good things. And I think it is pretty awesome. Hmm, good to know. On top of that, we have Nano Storage. What's that? It's a very small state management library. How small? Less than one kilobyte in size. Okay, that's small. So how would you rate day one? So far? going so good. It's the second day, so let's ride that early momentum and crush it. I see you don't have that much time today. Using these limited days wisely, I see. But I always want to do at least one thing. I guess that is better than nothing. Could be small. Sure, makes sense. What will it be? Get Tic-Tac-Toe to launch. But there were no games yesterday. So I have a version of Tic-Tac-Toe that I've already made. Wait, can we do that? It's similar to the one I have in the arcade GitHub. I see, the public domain defense. The game is really prototype, you just got squares for the X and the O. Fine, I guess that's okay. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So that was about an hour or so. And I did get tic-tac-toe to work. And then you can take that link from the URL address bar, send it to someone. In my case, I just tested it with an incognito window and it worked. Any progress is a win. So that's basically the one thing that I managed to get done in the short time I had today. Today, I'm actually a little bit hungover. Wow, this challenge is off to a great start. Very little. Sure. I'm not feeling the best, but we're gonna get some stuff done anyway. Yeah, there's only 39 days left, so get to work. Maybe try having some electrolytes. Hopefully that helps. Let's hope. So, how did a little hungover working go? It was a little slow, a little bit of brain fog. We did still get a decent amount of stuff done. Yeah, at least that's good. Let me actually show you some of that. But I do take this link that was working yesterday too, which is great. But what we didn't have yesterday, I'm gonna just come up here. We're gonna join to that link. Except it doesn't work. Let that be a lesson, kids. Alcohol is not good for you. Okay, so fix that problem. This is what happens when you don't test. Uh, no, I think it's the alcohol. Uh, what we added here is that if the player leaves, then you really can't start. And I'm gonna just have him leave, and you'll see it's gonna note that the person has left and that didn't work. Was that a testing problem too? So it looks like this is just inconsistent. Just go there again. So we do have to add a like kick mechanism here since now this didn't actually... Now there are some problems here and a bunch of bugs. That's an understatement and clearly not fit for duty today. Aren't we looking chipper today? 
yesterday. Things just didn't quite work as I uh, wanted, even though it worked perfectly fine when I was testing. Sure, it was testing and not the tequila. So then I was thinking yesterday that maybe what I should do is rewrite the back end in Calisius. So you know that this is a time limited challenge, right? Currently, the tic-tac-toe game and that second game that I haven't named yet that I've already written is using Hathora. The front end is going to be a little bit different too if I do that, so there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done. Yeah, and you've done very little so far. But I think it's the right move. And why is that? Here's why. Now, that timeout kick and my auto rejoin that we need to build manually for tic-tac-toe and for the second game is something that can be done. But I saw on Twitter this morning, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit and wisdom is knowing to not put a tomato in a fruit cake or something like that. I don't eat vegetables. So knowledge is knowing how to write a timeout kick and auto rejoin, but wisdom is knowing that the less code you write, the less bugs you have. Okay, yeah, that is fair and pretty wise. Okay, I've actually gotten tic-tac-toe completely converted to Calisius. It's also deployed. Oh, where is it deployed? Digital Ocean app platform. Now that is $5 a month, so that is $5 from a $100 budget, which is down to now $95. So for the six weeks, this will be $5 plus 250 or so. So it's down to $92.5. Still plenty left, what's next? Now, the next game that I'm gonna do is Flappy Race. This one has client-side prediction, so it's a little bit more complicated than just tic-tac-toe. I have it written in Hathora. It's an open source project that you can find on the Arcade GitHub, but I'm gonna convert that to Calisius and implement the updated front end in a different way this time. I think the game in general would be better suited to use a state machine. And I actually wrote a state machine yesterday, but I didn't show it to you since I couldn't really use it, given all the other things that were just not working. Yeah, it was rough. So, got a bunch of stuff done. Nothing really visual to show. Should we come back later then? While it didn't look like much has been done, there was definitely several hours here of just writing code. Good, at least we're finally working. Drink to that one. <laughs> and I drank literally no water. You sure? The glass looks empty to me. Oh, and I almost forgot. So our server here is gonna be one shared server for all five games, instead of having to deploy a new server for each game to save costs. Another short day. One third of all the days so far have been short days. I'm gonna try, I've less than an hour now, I think, to basically get my deployed auto deploy to DigitalOcean. I thought it was doing that, but it actually isn't. So even when there's really no time to do something, I think just 30 minutes or an hour is enough to try to get something done. It could be anything, just so you make a little bit of progress every day. Work ethic, questionable, but at least the attitude is good. I did get the Digital Ocean deploy working from the GitHub Action CI, but it was not straightforward and it took me more than the one hour that I had initially planned. I worked a little bit afterwards. Okay, maybe the work ethic isn't that bad. The game plan for today, we're going to see if we can get the game to actually run at least one bird moving along. Now yesterday, I did get the background to show and I did the resizing so that when the web page resizes, it'll kind of respond. Now I'm not sure if that's totally correct yet. Everyone needs to have the floor in the same position, at least relative to where the game is taking place. If you have a taller phone, a shorter phone, or a monitor for that matter. So I have a few more hours today than I did yesterday. Let's see what we can get done. game is still not working. Okay, but what's the good news? But we have the background and it resizes properly now. And when you actually join the game, you can see your little bird here. Okay, so I think that was a pretty good first seven days of this project. Oh, you thought this was a good performance. We do have tic-tac-toe. Oh no, my worst fears have been realized. 
So we are one sixth of the way done. It would have been nice if flap your race was already done, but what can you do? How about working more? Next week, we'll finish flap your race and then start on the third game, which I'll tell you about in the next video. And I didn't really drink that much water, so let's just do that. Watch the next video to keep following along and subscribe for more of this series to make five multiplayer party games. We've got zero games finished and just 35 days left.